Guys, I uh, I want to just make one more um, Dvar Torah video, and that is about today being Friday the 13th. <laughs> you know, I had someone mention to me it's Friday the 13th, and really we shouldn't look at it that way. It has to be that it's the 28th of Tishrei, the 28th is Koach. I said, well, let's turn actually to Friday the 13th. You see, when Haman decided that the best time to kill the Jews was in the month of Adar because Moshe Rabbeinu passed away in the month of Adar and the heavenly court, they bellowed out, you wicked one, don't you know that Moses was born in Adar? So let's talk about Friday the 13th. Number one, we're taught that on Friday, it's already the taste of Shabbat. We're already into the Shabbat where the world it says in the Zohar that when Shabbat comes, the evil forces have to run. Number two, the number 13 has so many beautiful meanings. I mean, everyone knows about 13 being uh, when a child becomes a man and becomes Bar Mitzvah, the son of Mitzvot. But let me tell you two other things. Shema Yisrael, Hashem Elokeinu, Hashem Echad, God is one. Echad equals 13. Aleph, Chet, Dalit equals 13. Another thing, 13 are the attributes of mercy, which means that even when logically we don't think we deserve, God says there's the crown above the head, and that is the crown of mercy which God promised the Jewish people through Moses that they will never come back empty-handed. So my friends, thank God even in the secular calendar. Today is Erev Shabbos Kodesh. Today is Echod. Today are the 13 attributes of mercy.